Yo, in today's video, I'm going to be playing uh, Top Ladder with Royal Giant. Not Top Ladder, but pretty high. Um, it's not loading, we'll see. Are you serious? Come on. Yeah, 530. Uh, we're on kind of a good win streak of what we lost that, but um, beat an Expo player, beat Drill. This guy was pretty good. Um, but yeah, we're going to play Royal Giant, and uh, let's just get into it. So... 42 second queue time getting the match in like <laughs> two seconds three seconds pretty nice um not this video but the next video i will uh most likely have a thumbnail like a like designed like um whatever it's called thumbnail i guess for the video because right now i just take a screenshot of something random and make it on the thing but i think the video would get more views and stuff if i have it like have a thumbnail because more likely that people will click on the video you know what i'm saying so um uh, but so far my youtube channel my most famous or my, my most <coughs> viewed youtube video is when i beat b you at so that was pretty cool like as of now two days ago i posted it and it already has um like 600 views i think which is pretty dope so first game um if i was actually using my e-giant i would have had like 100 l against this guy <laughs> so it wasn't even planned it's not even a voiceover we're just doing it as we're playing or talking as we're playing um so yeah um he goes spear goblins so he does have inferno to oh we're gonna take that we're gonna take that for sure and then he's gonna fireball that but then we're just gonna go in to collect the souls and uh he's gonna go mega knight and then obviously you know we're gonna use our ability I should have waited to use my ability so the tower or the the princess tower could have like locked on the skeleton king and then the skeletons could have taken out the mega knight. That would probably would have more been um quite a bit smarter of a play. But we still take out the tower. Uh okay, no we don't. It's it'll be at like at forty thirty eight. Thirty eight. Um so pretty much right now all we gotta do is just Make sure he doesn't, his Inferno Tower doesn't luck on Tower. Um, okay. Yeah, that's probably stupid. He's probably gonna go get Goblin Gang on that or something. Um, and, okay, here we go. Now he's gotta play some defense. So, boom, boom. Oh, no. Oh, he tried to predict me. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, no, we're not fine. We are definitely not fine. Okay. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, uh, I hope he doesn't have fireball. Um, all right, cool, 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 cool. We go here, and he's probably gonna go minor. Okay, we just log that, and now he's about to go in with another. Okay, we're just gonna be at... okay. He tried to pull a fast one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let that slide though. So it's fine. All right, we go here. Um, come on, one of those picks has to hit. If it doesn't, then. We'll go just deal with that later. All right, it locks in tower, and a uh, very easy matchup for game one, I believe. So I think that's even a better matchup with E-Giant. No, actually, no, I think this is even a better matchup against this deck than E-Giant is because, um, I mean, I don't have Nato for the Inferno Dragon. can't just E-Giant into it, so we're 400th right now. Um, let's go into another one. But we do a Fisherman, so we can Fisherman the Mega Knight, and there's really nothing he can do there. So good game to that guy. Alright, right here, we're just going to, I feel like he's going to go Hog, maybe. Nope. Alright, we just went Fisherman, spammed it back and forth just to make sure if he went Hog, we wouldn't take any damage. Um, we're just going to go Skelly King in the back. He goes Ice, or Electro Spirit, so I know it's not um, E-Giant. I mean, what am I saying, bro? It's not, I saw the Fisherman, my first thing instinct was e-giant into it that's what my brain was telling me because i'm used to playing e-giant so we're actually just gonna go in here he uses log he already uses e-spirit oh, okay well there's the e-spirit again um so he's actually using rg if i am uh correct um so right here i'm just gonna log this back so the fisherman doesn't take me out and then uh that's a lot of that's a lot of damage he's about to get but you know what you know what i probably should have scarred me that but, okay, I definitely should have scarred me that, but it's fine. So, when I'm using E-Giant, I know how to play this matchup. Fisherman, 
Um, okay, when Zappy's there, I should have gotten the Skelly King in the back, so, like, the Fisherman can't pull it, and the Fisherman's about to pull it now, which is kind of tough. Oh, I actually pulled the Zappy. Okay, that's fine. Now that Zappy's just going to keep on shooting it. Um, he's going to go Hunter, probably, so we're just going to go in. Log. All right, fine. We're just going to pop our ability just to force him to use his E-Spirit. Um, and... Okay. The Zappy just got a couple uh, hits. The Zappy does like a hundred and I don't know. Some damage though. So okay, he actually that's unfortunate that he goes in there. Um I think we just log this and the uh, okay, that's still alive. That's great. Well Um Dang. Okay, well we lost our tower here. I'm probably still I'm gonna still put this video or this game in the video. Um, you know, I can learn from that. So him actually going aggressive here actually gives me a chance to win this. Um, so yeah, I appreciate it. Cause if he didn't go RG there, like he wouldn't have given me any counter push. I mean, he still defended that cause Hunter's a very good card. Um, <coughs> but yeah, he, it, all he has to do is literally just go in with RG and I can't take out his tower and defend. But, yeah, we lost here. And he pulled it all the way to the other tower. So, well played by him. Um, Angelo Mel or Mayo, well played. And uh, we'll just go into the next one. I feel like I probably even had a matchup there. I mean, he did have Hunter. Um, I know it was both RG decks, but, like, the Skeletons didn't do anything for him. He just played with uh, the Fisherman really well. And, uh... Yeah, good game. Uh, we're probably just going to do one more. And... All right, we got into a match. It was only like 30 seconds from when I cut it off. So, uh, DJ EDU. Uh, so, I have Skarmie in hand, but I don't have Skelly King in hand. And you never want to waste your Skarmie if you don't also have Skelly King down. Because it's just in this matchup. Or with your deck, you just want to... So, he has five uh, the spectators. Six spectators. So, he's either really good... Or maybe he's trying to get top 100 or something for the first time, or his clan name is top 100. Probably a pro. Um, we're going to do this. He's going to defend it. Then we're just going to go Skelly King in the back. Um, we're going to let that Bar Barrel get one hit. By the looks of it, he's using Lumberland Freeze because he has Bar Barrel and he has uh, Bowler. So that's what I'm going to assume. Um, pop our booty here. Hopefully the fisherman pulls it. Yep, 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 yep. So he's using you know, Lumberloon Freeze. Um, the best card in the uh, this deck here against Lumberloon Freeze is Zappies, Mother Witch, and uh, Fireball. So those are going to be your favorite or the best three. He might freeze that. Um, yeah, but he does. It's a good thing I... Um, we're actually going to just tank that. And we're going to go here. He's about to go Barb Barrel, and then we just go Skelly King opposite lane. And I think he has literally, like, nothing to defend this. Um, he might try to go late Bowler, or... Yeah, I guess he's just going to Tornado it. Uh, or, or he just just tanks his tower. That's also another um, strategy you could do um, as a Lumberloon Freeze player, I guess. His seven spectators still believe in him. Um, he might, you know, he might get me. So... We'll see. Basically, what we're going to do right now is we're literally just going to cycle to um, Zappies. I thought he was going to go in with a balloon there, and he doesn't for some reason, but he still freezes his That was kind of weird. Um, okay, so uh, is it even worth it to fireball? I think I'm going to lose my tower. Um, I'm just going to tank my tower. Oh, he almost got me with the prediction. But I'm not gonna let that slide. So obviously I had to, I had to. Go, I wouldn't scar me faster than he was able to predict that. So we got his tower down very low. Um, we're just gonna go Mother Witch in the back, cycle it, and then if we had Mir, there's another variation in this matchup with um, Mir instead of Mother Witch. That would be really clutch right now. But we don't have that. So he tried to predict us. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go Skelly King over there, um, and then we're just gonna go scar me, and then. 
Um, I don't really know how he's going to be able to defend all this. Um, my RG won't. Okay. He's forced to go freeze, which means he can't. And my the skeleton army might take out the king tower. Um, wow. it's a lot of damage I got. He might try to NATO that. He does not. So we're just going to go in with the zappies. He already used his freeze, so we know it's going to be able to take it out. Um, and then we're going to go here. He's going to go Inferno Dragon. So we're just going to go Skarmy on that. He's going to NATO it back. He's forced to. It still gets a hit. Uh, we fireball the Inferno Dragon and the tower, and that should be game. And he has seven spectators. I'm going to check his profile to see how good he was. Um, I'm pretty sure that's that's RG's matchup. But, yeah. Top 286 finish. 8,200 PV. Only 3,000 wins. So I guess he doesn't play the game that much. He's insanely good at it, or he's on an alt account or something. But uh, how much games was that? Three games. Three games. We're just going to put them all in the video. We, using RG top... We're just going to say 400 ladder. We wore 400, now we're 401, but top 400 ladder. Um, we went against Mega Knight, uh, Bait, uh, RG, and Lumberland Freeze. So that was the video. Top 400 with uh, Row, Giant, Skelly King, Zappies, Fisherman. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. The next two videos, or at least one video, will be uh, on the Global Tournament and probably have a thumbnail for that one. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you guys are new, or subscribe if you guys are new and you haven't already. And leave a comment if you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video.